Yo, wait, what? Oh. Hello, everyone, to the Mad Archer Overlord Season 4, Episode 9. Yay! Woo! And yes, everyone, last episode, I have indeed been informed by Chibi Review and from you guys, of course, that they indeed skip out on the Holy Kingdom art because now we have to wait till next year to watch the movie. And you know, we already saw the visual art for the movie already, so hopefully, we get to watch the movie as soon as possible because I've been told that arc itself is going to be one of the most intense, bloody, how to say, fight heavy sort of arc we're in. And then, you know we can't skip on it now and it kind of makes sense though because i was kind of confused last episode especially with the translation error in terms of theocracy and then you're supposed to be holy kingdom and stuff like that so i somehow defeated the enemies in the whole kingdom now he's giving support to them and now their support is being interfered by well philip in this case and now i's retaliate gonna attack the kingdom that philip was in so oh my god man today's episode should be a very interesting one because i saw the preview and since that i is gonna go on a rampage with his army to destroy the kingdom for interfering with his support mission so oh my god just can't wait already man so with us said let's get the action shall we Okay, and let's get started, shall we? So, let's just see how Ainz go out to invade this kingdom for, how to say, trespassing his peace with the holy kingdom, which is all because of Philip's fault. So, here we play. I'm here to warn you guys of, of the invasion to come. <laughs> Yep, Philip, very person, man. Oh, wow, the king had to take responsibility because of Philip's doing. So stay what? Have my head? Yep, there we go. There's a, it makes no difference, man. Okay, let's just see how would they, how you know, count out to extinction. Oh my god, what a title this episode. And she's like, I heard was liking it. Mm-hmm. Right, seems like she seems impressed, I guess, <laughs> in this case. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe that, I guess, the second part. We realize the sun is the next in line anyways, and you reach your age. I mean, cutting off his head sends a big signal anyway, so it's a good idea. Declares war! Let's go! Let's go! War time! Uh, one month from today, he have one month to prepare against our army, which is the undead, basically. Yeah. Oh my god, we can see them going on a rampage with the Death Knight. What is it? Really? Your scheme? Really? You're not blaming them? They were help helping with whole kingdom, okay? Oh! Yes, piss Alberto. I want to see more of this face. Oh my god. Now, this is what you call a peak episode, everyone. Mm hmm. Ejodus. Well, you've been warned. Prepare your best army, your best magicians, your best casters, or whatever. Uh huh. Okay, now they're, they're in the most fucked up situation now. They have to, you know, prepare an army. <laughs> and starting with Chow Army. Why not? <laughs> well, I do wonder whether it will be a massacre or it will be like they have a secret weapon installed to go against Ayn's Sorcery Kingdom. Basing off of what I can see from the opening, I feel like they have some secret weapon installed against them. At best though, they need adventurers or casters to like help them out. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Didn't reach him, of course, man. You you're fighting against Ayn, the goat. You really think that simple sword can reach him? Mm hmm. Ha. 
<sighs> this was I'm teaching. Pass on to you. Yep. Pass on to the kids, man. Mm hmm. Hmm. And well, let's just see how Ayn's gonna declare war on them. I mean, send a bunch of dead bodies on them, I guess. With the death knight leading the line. Uh huh. I do wonder how whether the guardians will join the fight too, or they just like let the army do the fighting. A hey, happy Alberto face. I'm Sama. It's to prevent other kingdoms from sending support troops or otherwise intervention. So just those two kingdoms fighting. No one interferes. Okay, fair enough. I mean, no ally is the best like, idea. Mm hmm. Okay. What is? Hmm. Shame. What? What else? And that's why I deserve to be sit on my eyes. Mm hmm. Oh my god, he's really going to go on a massacre run right now as a strategy to intimidate and cut out the allies. Mm -hmm. Wow, good idea, I guess. Spread out the task so that you don't have to, you have to overwork yourself. <laughs> Low work experience. Mm hmm. Oh, so next battle. Okay. Who is it? Oh, really? So Ayn's gonna join, join, be participating in the fight. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know, some adventures saved them, I guess. Watch this next battle. Okay, observe how and see how it goes. I'm pretty sure some adventure like helped them escape or help the other town from escaping. I like the fact how the guardians are inter interfering. <laughs> oh my god, letting the guardians do some like teamwork, like team discussion. Frozen prison? What's going on here? Oh, is this like beforehand? How? Who is he meeting? Wait, 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 what? Wait, hold on, Alberto's sister? I did not- oh, wait, so Alberto has a sister? Okay, now this is interesting, so how is she gonna contribute to this war that's going on? Interesting, well, let's just see how creepy she could be. Because I heard that she's have a quite interesting, like, personality. Oh ho ho! Whoa, what with the big scissor? Gee, dude, she's like something came out of a horror movie. Oh, oh! Holy shit! What happened to the face? 
Yo, did she cut her own face? Oh my god. No, dude, she literally looked like, looked like some character from the fucking Conjuring. So, Kokujis is her superior, huh? Mm -hmm. I like the fact that dogs just stick to the dog attitude. One, one, one. <laughs> Okay, so she's gonna uh, make the, the tomb stronger. What's she gonna do? Like increase, uh, increase? Oh my god! Wait, what? Infants? So you're gonna raise an army or something? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a very interesting analogy right there, girl. Wait, he, he can't really eat though. See, exactly. He just fell off his chin. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm hmm Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, uh, um, uh, you know, intimidation. Just to say, you mess with us, you die. <laughs> one. <laughs> oh my god, sticking to the dog attitude. One, one, one. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, yeah, because your kingdom is big enough to, like, in, you know, market your influence over them. Oh, yeah, consider. And that's how we have some people escaping. Mm hmm. See? <laughs> Shoot yourself. Okay. Oh, let the, the future me do this, do the mis redo the mistake. <laughs> it's like One Punch Man's uh, you know, line back in, like, you know, I think it was like episode five or six. Oh, shit, that's Ayn's army. Oh, yeah, like you said, Walking Dead. The Walking Dead, man. Why am I not surprised? So, yeah, basically, don't really require any, like, of his own or person army. It just requires the dead bodies. Death Knight. Yep, the Death Knight, man. Yo, can't wait to see how they fight them or go OP against them. Mm hmm. I mean, they're Ayn's like best, like general, like army, uh, uh, no, army members. Mm hmm. The four amendments. Okay, seems like you're bringing the adventurers, man. I mean, of course they had to ask adventurers to support them for fight because there's no way the army can go, you know, toe to toe with Ayn's army. Only adventurers can. Mm hmm.
Yeah, I mean, wow, well, you, you can't expect it anyways. You'd rather get all people of the kingdom as a, pay, you know, intimidation like message. You mess with us, you die. I gotta say, the bl the silver haired girl, white haired girl, I gotta say, she's quite a chick, man. Yep, all these casters already. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh. Wait, what? What kind of reward do you want? Um, okay. Why do I feel like the pink hair nun chick is gonna be quite problematic? Oh, wow, okay. Lao Shou is quite popular, huh? Uh, what? Oh my god, what the hell are you talking about right now? Dude, why are you talking about marriage in the middle of a speech, war speech? Wait, what? She's just 12? Wait, what now? Oh, come on. No, please. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, there we go. Her, her slot vibe is coming out. Oh my god, dude, this bitch, man. Seems like she's a crazy one. I think both. Uh, yeah, I know, right? She's after a 12 years old kid, okay? That's just wrong. Yeah, I guess he's gonna be the main fighter. That was a weird gag before a big battle. <laughs> okay, let's go, shall we? Let's just see how the Death Knight is gonna rampage this whole city. Yo, look at them all like standing guard right now. It's not standing in their battle formation. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Arrows? You really think that's gonna work? Well, you can delay them from walk coming approaching, but yeah, no. See, wait for it, wait for it. Hey, finally. I mean, they're gonna go sprint down. Yeah, let's go. Get out of the way, dead bodies. <laughs> See, no use. Is. It's Ayn's magic, okay? Ayn's protecting those death knights. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh damn. Still no use. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, that thing is the OP general, okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oi. No, not really. The Guardians are the trump card, but those are. But the uh, Death Knights are like, how do you say, the OP generals to do, do, do a lot of damage. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, wow, that's smart, by the way, going through the hole. Deep, no use. Magic is like notifying against him. Really? You just gonna power up that much? Do you think that's gonna be enough to fight that thing? I think that should I think should be at least a last a good amount of seconds against it. Oh, here we go. The Death Knight. 
Oh, Dope Bell. Oh. Oh, ho ho. Well, dude, now this is gonna be one insane part to end the episode, man. Oh, man, I'm all in for it. Oh, ho, ho, oh, damn, man, I was getting there. Come on, show us what you got. Oh, really? Okay, stun grenade. Hey, wow, good re reaction. Oh my god, dude, this Death Knight is good, man. Oh, oh, okay, goo. Mm hmm. Oh, he's coming. Oh, reinforcement. <laughs> oh my god, two against uh, two Death Knights. That should be fun. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Damn. Dude, these death knights mean business. Oh, two against... Oh, man. It looks really intimidating, man. Two against three. Let's go. Or four, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Run? Let me deal with it. Wow, really? Mm hmm. Oh. 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 Oh, wait, what? Headshot? Someone shot at it? Wait, what? What's going on? Yo, wait, what? Oh. Oh. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Where, where did that come from? What? Wait, 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 Gundam? What the hell? Where did Gundam? Oh my god, dude, not even the sword can pierce it. Wait, 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 what? Machine gun? Hey, <laughs> wow, nice deflection, but I don't think it's enough, though. Hey, that was see. Yo, my, wait, we have gun down now? Wait, 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 what? What? Is it an Avenger? Vermilion drop? So, what is it, from an allied kingdom or something? Uh, that's yep, yep, yep. Destroyed so easily. Hmm. Just as expected. Wait, I expected it. He knew this was coming. <laughs> oh my god! These are, I was kind of saw you know those stuff like Mecha Gundam coming to support them in the fight. So yeah, I guess we do. We gonna get some ally from the kingdom to support. Uh, you know the dying kingdom from fighting Ein. So it seems like the the well, like you can say the opening did not lie. Everyone it seems like we're gonna see them not only fight the four amendments, but also we're gonna see some interesting battle between Mecca and uh, the Nazric guardians and Ein itself. Like the last part of the opening, like those they have a standoff against it. I think that will be next, man. I'm pretty sure Ein's kind of saw it coming. Say, yep, maybe the Death Knights are not enough to fight to, def to you know defeat the kingdom because they got uh, support from this Vermilion, you know, uh, kingdom that brings in some robots or something, and it's a fucking adventure. Oh my god, let me just have a quick look at it or something because like I really feel like it has some sort of like resemblance to some of the Gundams that I used to watch. Yo. I mean, what do you expect? The Death and Warrior, Death Knight, they're like so OP, man. Do you really think they can have any chance? You have a chance against them? Oh my god. Give me a sec. Oh, dude. I don't know why. This he, the, this mecha adventure looks almost like... Yeah, it really does look like one of those typical Gundam figures, man. Like, I mean, it doesn't look like a Gundam, but it, it kind of resembles one. And, well, I gotta say, man. It kind of also looks like Justice, King, Justice Gundam too from Gundam Sea Destiny. But... But can I say, man, we got some, an interesting opponent now for Ainz and his guardians, of course. And yeah, it seems like we got some interesting gag going on between these new, well, adventurers, characters, which I don't remember seeing. I could be wrong. I remember, I could be wrong, but I think this could be the first time I saw them. So that's why I don't really recognize them. Well, I gotta say, she's beautiful, by the way. So, well, what can I say? This episode, well, is more so a build up to this massive war invasion by the Sorcerer Kingdom and, you know, just see how they're going to prepare for it, rebel against it and how Ainz go about to meet the sister of, of Alberto, which is, looks like some sort of horror character from a straight up movie. So, 
yeah i do wonder how much of a part she will play in this story i mean yeah you can say she can somehow contribute to this uh, war i guess with maybe attacking to other kingdom but i don't know man i feel like she's just gonna be on the standby in the fifth you know in the, like the fifth floor just to take care of it nigera though so i guess she's been held here for some really good reasons which i to be honest though can't feel sad for her uh, but yeah, I gotta say, it seems like we, we are in this sort of like war arc we're in right now. And yeah, it seems like Ayn's telling his guard, his guardian to go on, uh, do some teamwork. Or say, say some t team discussion to how to strategically attack, <laughs> attack more efficiently. But, you know, I'm pretty sure Ayn's kind of saw that they, get, they get some support from other kingdom coming anyway. So he might as well just say, you know what? Might as well join the fight too, since like I it is up to us now to to ensure this you know carrot and stick go into fruition without the interference of this giant mecha. So I'm looking forward to the next episode, seeing how they can go about to deal with it, I guess. And like Madhouse, you know, they did a good job today's episode. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the button, and I'll see you guys next time.